I'm Dave, and you're watching Dave's Taste Buds, and welcome back. I just finished taping an episode of S'mores, and I did a little verses between Hershey's and Mr. Beast Chocolate, so hopefully I got all the marshmallow and chocolate off my face. So that episode was sweet. This episode is gonna be savory. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make mozzarella sticks at home, and we're gonna do it two ways. We're gonna do the traditional breading station way, and then we're gonna do it of more of a more of a batter. Let's do this. Let's get right into it. First of all, mozzarella sticks, obviously. I cut these into half inch by half inch rectangles. You're gonna wanna put these in the freezer once you cut them for about an hour because you don't want them too pliable. Plus in the oil, they'll cook right through. So I'm gonna try to make two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm gonna do five and five. So the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, for your basic ones, you're gonna to wanna to get these breaded. Basic, very standard breading station here. Flour, egg wash, breadcrumbs, that's it. Wet into dry. Dry into wet. Make sure you get that coated in an egg, see that? Breadcrumbs on there. Usual, I just abandon my wet hand and my dry hand and just uh, smash it all together. So, one, if you like these to have a, a little extra breading on them, I'll show you that too. We'll go the cheese stick, we'll go into the egg wash. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure you get them coated all the way because I know you've seen it before in the restaurants, I know you've seen it maybe at home with other things. If these aren't covered completely, that cheese is gonna bust right through and it's gonna become a real situation. I mean, you don't want that. No, you definitely don't want that. And you're gonna have a pile of breading and then you're gonna have a pile of cheese. So we're gonna try to make sure we got all these breaded up nice. See that? That's exactly what you're looking for. Make sure that thing is completely breaded. Again, easy stuff seen it a hundred times. I'm gonna make sure and just double flour these because we don't want our cheese getting everywhere. The hardest part, getting these things covered in the egg. While I'm doing this, do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button down below. Really support me, help me out. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can. Keep this train rolling go right in there come on a mess what a mess so basically that's how that looks and I want to get these things covered 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 don't be afraid I know I'm probably gonna get comments you can't put them back in the egg after blah 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 sure you can you do what you need to do you gotta make sure these things get covered there you go double bread them if you have to these things breaded. Nothing, nothing wrong with nice thick breading, except it's coming off as I roll it back through here. So, oh for God's sakes, get on that egg. There we go. You can make these at home. You don't have to buy these frozen. You don't have to have takeout. Tell DoorDash to stay home for the day. There we go. I'm just gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and then I'm gonna take out the other stuff. We'll get the ones battered, all right? So sit tight for just a second. Now, these next ones are gonna be a little different because we're gonna make the batter and then we're gonna do breadstick to batter right into the oil. This is going to be good. There's no way you can batter these things and kind of set them aside like you can with the regular breading. So really simple. This is actually Bisquick mix. You could use, you could use a, a, a pancake mix you could even use like um, like a funnel cake mix, but I like the, uh, the Bisquick. Cup of Bisquick, half a cup of milk, and this is gonna be plenty to do those five mozzarella sticks, and it's one egg. Put that in there, and that's it. I like to add a little bit, just you know, to taste, a little salt and pepper, throw it on in there. There you go. I just wanna whisk this up. You could stir this in if you wanted to. I like to use the whisk just because it incorporates a little bit more air into it. it. Makes it a little bit fluffier, but that's really, I mean, it's it's simple. And quite frankly, if you wanna see other videos, 
We can use um, cake flour, funnel cake stuff, and we can deep fry Oreos, candy bars. You can deep fry anything. That's a great idea. Again, I like to use the whisk. Let's get some air incorporated. Here we go. Now, your oil. You're gonna want a really neutral oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. I actually like to do a 50-50 blend of canola and vegetable oil. If it makes a difference to you, it, it may not. That's just what I do. And it's gotta get to, I like to start off with this at 360, because as soon as you drop these in there, it's gonna drop it down to like 350, which is exactly what you want. So instead of burning through all of my fuel for my uh, burner, I've actually got it heated up on the stove already, just to where we want. Which I'm gonna bring over here right now. You know I love my cast iron pan. You could use it for this. It's just a little shallow for me. So I like to do this um, Dutch oven instead. You could use a regular pan too. I got it at exactly 360, maybe a little bit higher. Turn this on. Here we go. And we're gonna wanna be ready to take these out of the oil. Put them right onto a nice rack with some paper towel, just so we can absorb some of that grease. So like I said, we're going to, is this on? All right, we're good. We're good. I want it to look nice for you guys. I want it to look nice. It's important. I got cameras all over the place. I got lighting. I just want it to look nice. So here's all we're gonna do. Oh, I should have had a towel for this. What was I thinking? We're just gonna put our mozzarella stick right in to our mix. Make sure you can see that. I'm gonna bring it up here, make sure that thing's covered. And we're just gonna gently whoop, drop that right in there. Now these are gonna go quick. So once you get that first one in there, don't be afraid to just start firing them off because these are literally two minutes. As soon as that starts to brown, you're good. Let's throw them all in here. Because I'm also gonna have to Get my hand cleaned off too. Boom. Everybody in the pool, everybody in the pool. Quick, 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 quick. Bam, a mess. Towel, because we don't have time. We don't have time to mess around. We don't want them to stick. I keep moving around. This is our first one looking good. Just keep them rolling. Oops, oh, these son of, stuck together. That's gonna be a problem. Here we go. Just gonna turn this down a little bit too. So they tend to catch air on one side, so they're gonna wanna roll around on you, so. Once we get these nice and brown, see if this oil was too cold, the cheese inside would melt certainly out of these things before they turn brown. If it's too hot, they turn too brown before the cheese gets a chance to melt. But these are looking good. This one's a little wild looking, so that, that's our wild card. I'm gonna get him out of the pool right off the bat. That one's kind of our, it's always one that's kind of like, what the hell is that? Oh, got some cheese leaked out of that one, looking good. This is why I wanted to show you this, guys. You can do this with all kinds of stuff, but it's tricky. It's tricky, guys. And that's it. That's why I wanted to show you both ways. So you can make the decision on how you want it to, how you want it to go. We still look good? Good. Temperature's still good. I'm gonna try to get some of this out of here. I went so long without one of these spiders. And I'm so glad that I have it now. some more paper towel to put those on when they're done. All right, just like the other ones. Temperature's looking good. Two. Just be very careful putting them in this oil. Put a little bit in till it gets a little bit foamy and then give it the drop. If you want to get yourself some 
tongs that are much longer than these. Yeah, see how fast they are? Fast, fast, fast. They take no time at all. Because all you're trying to do is, is get the your breading brown, because if the breading's brown, it's gonna heat right up into the middle. Everybody out, everybody out. That's it. Fast, fast, fast. Trust me, that cheese inside is melting. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I got a little marinara sauce too, that's all you need. A little marinara, some mozzarella sticks. Let me get this cleaned up and then we'll, uh, we'll check them out and taste them. Sit tight. Okay guys, we're back. Mozzarella sticks are done. Marinara's in our souffle cup. Now, as you can see, just after a couple minutes of them just kind of hanging out, they start to get really cheesy. Steam coming off there. Oh, you got a fantastic pull. Look at that. Look at that. Crispy on the outside, piping hot on the inside. Mmm. So much better than your store bought. Batter one, I don't know. You know, quite frankly, I have some leftover Chinese food from last night in the fridge, and we got chicken fingers, and it looks a lot, uh, it looks a lot like that. The, over a couple, just a couple minutes, the crispness has gone away a little bit. It's still, it's still got a nice pull, but it could be cooked through a little bit more. Yeah, I, I can tell you already that I would certainly choose the old school breading. the flavor's still there. Anyway, mozzarella sticks, two different ways, easy. I'm gonna have the quick recipe down below. There's really nothing to it, it's simple. Just get comfortable frying stuff at home. Once you get comfortable frying stuff at home, once you've done it a bunch of times, it's easy. Don't worry about it, don't be scared of it. It's as easy as doing anything else. You just gotta be safe about it, all right? So, like, subscribe, comment, I got a couple other videos here. I got a whole bunch of videos down here. So check them all out. And then uh, once you're done doing all that, go cook something.